Good morning, afternoon, evening, and good night, ladies and gentlemen. I am Deadbeers, and you join me here at the crash site number nine, Destroyer. We uh, is crashed down on a farm. Uh, we did shoot this down, however, due to uh, some uh, user error and some technical glitches, I did lose the footage there. But we just shot down Destroyer number nine with the Angel team, and that's all we did. That's all we've lost so far is Angels nine being cra shot or uh, crash site nine being shut down by the Angels. Uh, we are ready to launch the combat team. We've already swapped out. Uh, Andrew Easter with, I believe it was Lieutenant James Hale here, has replaced him on this mission for the fact that uh, Andrew Easter got shot a few times last mission, and uh, he's currently recovering. Uh, other than that, we're just checking through everyone's gear at the moment, just to make sure everybody is armed and operational and ready to go. Rodko over here carrying a ridiculous amount of gear. Uh, let's give you a pistol round, Rodka. Just see so you're 100% there. Okay, we got Christopher is good. Zalo, you're good. Chuck is a little overweight, but that's okay. And Maniac, you're going to help me with something, Maniac. You're going to put your shotgun in your inventory. Actually, hmm. Yeah, you're going to put your shotgun in your inventory, and you're going to grab an extra shield. You're also going to grab... What's something that weighs a decent amount but is small? Not the knife. The knife is completely worthless. Uh, grab a bunch of grenades. I know it's very silly, but this is what we're doing. We're going to test something with this mission. So we're going to horribly overload Maniac, but he's going to drop all this stuff at the beginning of the mission. And... Dude, we're also going to have... Xena help us out here as well. So Xena, I'd like you to put your gear up like this, so you can put the rifle in your inventory. And you're going to grab a shield as well. Basically, this is so that Runa and Sergei can have extra shields to fall back on if they get their shields destroyed. And we're going to launch the dropship. Hopefully, we'll get there during the daytime because the dragonfly is faster than the... Oh, that laser shotgun's done as soon as he leaves. Excellent. Uh, we'll go ahead and close that. Dragonfly has arrived. Commence tactical battle. An alien spacecraft has crashed in this region. No, really. All right, we're going to take it out. Let's do this. Also, we really need to get these guys actually rotated. Okay, well, that's an alien. First things first, let's get Xena and Maniac to do the thing that I want them to do, which is drop their stuff. There we go. We can't move her stuff like that, but that's fine. And then... Is it Maniac? Yeah, Maniac has no time units available. Wait, does... Like, none? Zero? Okay, you can do that, though. And drop all these grenades, please, Maniac. Oh, right, those are in the way of the shield. There we go. Drop all those grenades, and we're going to come back for those later. We're not doing anything with that right now. Uh, oh, there's one extra grenade in your inventory, Maniac. Go ahead and take care of that. Excellent. And we're up against... It's wraiths again. Aliens really like their wraiths. Okay, we've got two aliens spotted. Where's the second one? Oh, it's right there. Okay. Xena spotted it for us. Excellent. Um... Do we have anyone who can come out here and... put down a thermal charge on that cover? Actually, she can do that from here. Do... We do go there. It's a slightly better chance to hit that. Although we get 100% if we do it there. Let's do it that. There we go. We'll get some thermal damage applied to that. We'll get Mars 3. Um, I feel like our dudes can take care of the, uh, the Servitor quite effectively. Let's get uh, the Mars to take care of the Wraith. Oh, the Wraith saw it. The Wraith isn't going to get a better shot than that. Better for us, at least. Okay, we'll take that shot with, with the tank. We missed. Excellent. Let's get Xena to pop out to here. And she'll take a shot at that. Okay, that's a terrible shot. Xena, try again. Good shot, Xena. Take it down. Excellent. Uh, Ace, let's get you stepped out just to check the corner here. Thank you. Ace, can we get you here? I don't imagine we can make that throw, right? No. Uh, who has the highest strength on the team? That'd be, like, Sergey, I think. Has the highest strength on the entire team. 73. 77 on Ace. Oh, if Ace can't make that throw, then there's no way anyone else in the team can make the throw. Let's just, uh, maybe we go for someone who has suppressing fire. Uh, where's one of our heavies? You. James. Can you. Move up close enough to take that shot. 
No, not really. Ace, let's get you out of the line of fire if we can. We really can't. 0% chance. Take, take the shot right there. Okay, we suppressed Ace, but that's okay. She wasn't going to do much from that direction anyway. James is unfortunately now stuck in the doorway. Let's get Sergey moved up. Sergey, aim at him so you can block. Gonzalo. Gonzalo, I want you to go this way and cover that entrance. Uh, Zena, or Christopher, go with him. Get that entrance covered. Chuck. Can you get to here? No. And I was going to have time you slip to fire. What about there? No. Well, yes. All right, what if you took a shot from there, Chuck? 6% chance to hit. That's not a great chance. Well, it's a 60 to hit this cover. You try that. But go here, Chuck. Not letting us do... It said 60% chance. Now it says 34. What? What happened to the 60? That was there. Am I crazy? Insufficient timing. Insufficient time units. I'm very confused. All right, go ahead and just take cover then, Chuck. I feel like the UI might be bugging out there. It should have told me I have insufficient time units in the first place. Uh, let's see. From there, not a good chance to hit, and also no time units left to shoot. Okay, that's a slight problem. Uh, this guy is going to be a problem, it seems. Rodka, can you step out and hit this guy? I don't think you can. Not without majorly injuring Sergey. Sergey, get over here. Uh, Rodka, you might as well take that chance. Damn, okay. Rodka, go ahead and get behind cover. Runa... I want you to move up to this side. Crouch there. Marie, I want you to go here. You take that shot. Hey, good job, Marie. And Maniac, I want you to proceed up to this wall, please. Okay. Uh, who else has time units left at this point? Uh, just Christopher, who I'm saving that reaction fire. Chuck. Okay. That's about all we can do, then. All right. Go ahead and end our turn. The alien is at least suppressed. He's shooting the civilian, which is fine with me, more or less. There's some alien activity nearby. All right, I heard a door open and close. We're still on enemy activity, not friendly activity. Yeah, he, she's running. But not very far. Okay, first things first. Let's see. Chuck, can you remove this cover from my from my away, please? He did say 60. Okay. Alright. You know what, Chuck, you tried. Uh Ace. Let's go with Marie. Marie made the shot last time. Marie, can you do it again? No, no, she cannot. Uh let's get. James, uh, can we get Chuck out of the way? Find it, yes, actually. James, let's get you up to cover. And I want you to just suppressing fire that entire area, please, James. Okay, well, we got him suppressed. We didn't actually hit him. That's a damn shame. All right, Rodka, Marie. Uh, Marie, let's get you to move slightly over so Rodka can take that spot. Do Rodka, make the shot. Good shot, Rodka. All right. That's one down. Or two down, actually, because there was a servitor at the beginning. Maniac. The other two are going to provide cover while you just flip this corner real quick. Okay. Maniac, get in this cover. You two, I want you to move up. Let's get you there. Oh, Gonzalo can't actually make it that far. Good to know. Uh, Mars 3, let's get you over here. Okay. Area clear. Okay, that is the corner of the map visible there. Let's just check that last remaining corner. There we go. Okay. 
we're going to move up all of our dudes on that side. And we'll move up the Mars as well. And then we'll have this team check out the barn, essentially. As soon as they have time units. Get Runa moving up with farm team. Xena, you're up with farm team as well. Uh, Rodka and Marie will be on barn team, but they don't have time units. At the moment, most of barn team doesn't have any time units remaining. That's okay. Uh, and then on the next turn, we'll move Mars over to the barn team as well. Okay. We'll call that good for the moment. Sorry, Sergey's got a lot of time he's left. Uh, that's actually fine. We'll keep Sergey on reaction fire. We know there's more aliens around somewhere. Well, more humans just got shot. I heard them get shot, so... Oh, and there she goes. Off into danger again. Once again, the Xenonaut civilians proving that they are, in fact, the dumbest animal to ever live. Sergey, let's get you... Moving this way. Okay. Let's get Ace moved up behind him. Actually, let's just move Ace this way. Ah, a servidor. Excellent. Uh, let's see. Do you take the shot and then close the door? Chuck, let's get you moved up here. James, let's get you moved up to here. Chuck, your job is going to be to clear that corner. Sergey, I want you right here just to keep an eye on this hallway. Thank you very much. Okay. And then Rodka and Marie can finally move up as well. Uh, Rodka, you're going to be on barn team. Marie, you're going to be on the field team. Alright, field team. Uh, Mars, I want you to move out and check out that area. Okay, nothing over there. I don't suppose you can drive through that, Mars. No, I don't think you can. You gotta go around. Okay, well, there's an alien right there. Mars, you're gonna back up a little bit, because there's one right there. Let's get Runa up to... Where can we put down a good, like, kill zone? You know, the alien's there. So we need a shot on it from, like, here-ish. From this, pretty much straight on, honestly. So let's get Runa here. Let's get Marie. Uh, ooh, she's already moved up this turn. So let's go ahead and get her there as far as we can. Xena, let's get you behind this hay bale. Maniac, we're going to get you up to this wall up here. Where the Mars went through. Gonzalo, we're going to move you up as far as you can. I know you don't have a lot of time units. We're going to move you up to... Actually, we can move you up pretty much right there. Xena, get crouched. Gonzalo, you can crouch. Christopher, you're going to get to back here. Please and thank you. You're going to turn that way and crouch. That's all you're going to turn and crouch. Okay. And Maniac, can we actually get you up to the wall? Mm, I'm hesitant to do that because we don't know about that area right there yet. So Maniac, just hold, hold steady where you are, Maniac. Actually move up a little bit and then crouch. Okay. And Marie will move up the rest of the turn, team on the next turn. Okay. Uh, this team today. Uh, James, you're going to crouch and let Rocket get behind you. Okay. We'll end our turn, and unless the Servitor moves up, we'll open the door next turn and absolutely blast it. Because you know Servitors sometimes like to just stay still. They don't like to move all the time. Okay, that alien booked it. That human is booking it across our lines. Excellent. Great way for them to get shot. Alright, second thing. Ace, open the door. Servitor is not there. Chuck, check the corner, please. Servitor is not here. Chuck, get in cover. Okay, barn team. It's not perfect, but Sergey's got to move up. It's probably in this corner right here. If I had to guess, it's probably in this corner. Nope, but there is a wraith there. Didn't expect that. Um, Ace, open that door. James, annihilate. Annihilate this wall, please, James. Xena, shoot him. Mm, yeah, go with the 70% chance. 
Okay, he's lost his ability to see, or his, his ability to be invisible. Surrogate, walk up to him, blast him with your pistol, buddy. You got this. Yeah, Sergey for the for win. Sergey grab a little bit of cover. Uh, James, you can't move. Ace, get behind Sergey. You can't crouch, can you, Sergey? No, you can't. Okay. Okay. Hold this angle. I think we'll be okay. Ace, crouch there so that no one, uh, you're not in anyone's way. If they come in from this direction or something like that, somehow. As a note, that means the servitor is probably here. Probably here in the corner, then. Um, Mars, do me a favor, poke around that corner again. Oh, he's over there. Okay, we've spotted him. Chris, can you line up that shot? Probably not, but let's try. You know what? For a 5% chance, that got a lot further than I thought it would. Uh, Xena, yeah, nothing. I don't think anyone's going to have a shot at this guy. Uh, Maniac. Yep, that's what I thought. Okay, it is right there still. So we have eyes on the servitor. We don't know what it's going to do or where it will go. Uh, we'll try and just keep reaction fire. Rodka, take aim in this direction. It could come back this way. It could come this way. We really don't know. Or it could come this way after them. And we'll have Maniac and Gonzalo take it down. Gonzalo, get here. Uh, to Christopher, you don't really have a shot from that angle. And that guy's so far away that we don't have any kind of shot against him. The tank... 37% chance, or 32% chance, we should take it, and we'll back up. You know what? I'll take that. Anyone in the corner? No, there's no one in the corner. Okay, so we'll keep an eye out from here with the tank, or with Mars, and we'll call that good for this turn. Take it slow, take it defensively, and we'll always be fine. Reaction fire from Maniac, nice. Maniac missing every shot. Rodka, I knew I turned you that way for a reason. Unfortunately, I think Rodka needs to reload now, which means she's not going to be able to shoot this turn, right? Yeah, she needs to reload. She will be able to take a snapshot. Oh, 100% chance. Take it. Excellent. Good shot, Rodka. Also, Maniac, great shot on the reaction fire. If it wasn't for the fact that uh, a ser a servitors have an incredible amount of reaction fire against people, we would we would have moved you up for the kill. Okay. And Mars, can you check that corner? Thank you. Okay. Let's get... Field team moved up. The Mars. Or let's get the Mars moved up a little bit. Let's get field team moved up. Xena, go with her. Two. Christopher, you can move up as well. Get up there, buddy. There you go. Maniac and Gonzalo. I'm gonna keep you guys push. I'm gonna push you through the middle, I think. Dude, it's not a great place to be, but then the middle, someone's gotta do it. It's not a great place, but someone's gotta do it, you know? You moved up, Gonzalo. Okay. Building team, Sergey, you're gonna clear that corner real quick. Okay, that corner's clear. There's a server there. Okay, but nothing here. Okay. So this building, this tile is clear. Sergey, let's get you moved up against this water barrel. Ace, you're up. Let's go. Actually, Ace, I want you to go behind Sergey right there. Crouch down. You could actually take a reaction fire shot, but it wouldn't get there. There's too much. There's too much distance. James, let's get you there. Rodka, you have no time units. That's fine. Chuck, let's get you moved up as well. Okay. Rodko will move up next turn, and we'll move up middle team as well. Uh, let's get Maniac up to here. There we go. And we'll get Gonzalo up there with Maniac. He's as much as he can. Maniac is faster than Gonzalo, I think. Okay, I think that's everyone except for Marie, who is way back here for some reason, because I forgot about her. My apologies, Marie. Let's get you moving. And of course, the Mars has time for reaction fire if it comes up. Don't think will, but it might. You never know. Alright, he's in the field. Okay. We're gonna take the Mars up to the road, I think, at this point. Ooh. Okay. Well, we spotted an alien. Never mind. Uh, it would be right here, right? Right on this line. 
Yep, that would be a perfectly straight shot from right there. Uh, take that shot, Mars. See what ha see what happens. That's okay. A little, little bit of wall never hurt nobody, Mars. That's fine. Uh, let's get Christopher right here. Let's see what he can do about that. 8% chance? Might as well take it. We've got ammo to spare, people. Alright, let's get Runa right here. Take cover. Xena, get behind the Mars. There we go. I don't know if the Mars actually provides cover or not, but we're going to pretend it does. Uh, and Marie, we're going to get you right here in the corner. You'll take a shot next turn, and hopefully you're far enough away that you won't be seen. That's because you got 9% chance. Actually, better than Christopher's. It was better than Christopher's. Marie's a better shot than Christopher? Really? 89 versus 82. Yeah, okay. Marie's a better shot than Christopher. That's crazy to me. All right, uh, let's get this team up. Chuck, I have a job for you. I need you to remove some of the... Never mind. There's the alien. Um, I don't think we have a shot on him, right? No, we do not. Chuck, I have still have a job for you. I need you to get here. Actually, get here. Uh, you don't have a shot at the moment, Chuck. That's fine. You'll just stay there for the moment. Uh, your job is going to be to remove this cover, Chuck. Uh, James, I need you to reload. Ace, you're good. Uh, anyone else need to reload? Rodka, let's get you moved up as well. Uh, let's get you... Mm, let's get you here. Okay. Crouch. There we go. Maniac and Gonzalo, I want you guys to be absolutely destructive. I want you to be here and here, please, Gonzalo. We're also using them as scouts at the moment. And Sergei's still got plenty of time units left, but that's okay. We don't need Sergei to do anything right now. His whole team's just going to hold fire for the moment. For the moment. Uh, Mars, you've got no time units left. That's fine. And end our turn there and see what that wraith does. Servitor is coming towards us. If it breaks the wall, Sergei's team will have cover, uh, reaction fire against it. It did not. Oh, and he went back inside. That wraith was like, nah, I, I see all those snipers over there. I'm just going to leave. Okay, thanks. Bye. Chuck, your job, if you choose to accept it, which you have no choice, is to blow up this wall. Thank you, Chuck. Now then, everybody else, please obliterate that servitor. Uh, Rodka, you've got the first shot. 100% chance, take it. Good shot, Rodka. Uh, let's see. Two, let's get Ace. Mm, 52 versus James at 11 times 10 or 20 times 30. Let's go with the 3x times 20. Hey, nice shot, James. Welcome back to the team, James. It's nice to have you back. Good shot, man. All right. Uh, yeah, he's just a lieutenant. That's excellent. Good job. Good job, James. All right. Uh, shield barn team, you guys are good to stay there. Uh, Gonzalo and Maniac. Actually, Chuck, can you move up over to these guys? I have a job for you over there, too. Put an end our turn there. Ooh. Hey, now that's a shot. <laughs> Please, come out again. I'm sure it'll be fine this time. Uh, who fired that shot? That was Christopher, right? Yeah, it was Christopher that fired that. Good job, Christopher. Uh, let's get Marie moved up so that she can take the same reaction fire as them. Mars, I have a job for you over here. That isn't just providing cover. Uh, you're going to drive up and down this and destroy these fences. Okay, then you're going to get out of the way. Chuck, I have a job for you here. Your job is to blow up these walls. Good job, Chuck. Keep doing that. That's all I need you to do, Chuck, is keep blowing up walls. Okay. We're going to go ahead and end our... No, we're, gonna, we're not going to end our turn here. We're going to move Sergei's team up into this field to make sure we're clear. Looks like we are clear in this field. That's interesting. I feel, I feel like that's a slight bug and probably should be fixed. The debris from the hedges went all the way down under the map there, and you could see it. If we rotate the camera around, can we still see it? Is it, like, falling upwards? No, okay. Uh, anyway, uh, let's go ahead and get Sergei's team up here, shall we? Let's see if we can get... This is some decent cover right here from in front of the door. Let's see if we can't get rid of it and make our own. 
go. Let's get Ace up in that cover. James. Also, I love that it says that the wheat is cover. The wheat is absolutely not cover. As we can see right here, it provides 0% cover bonus. Anyway. Uh, also, it's good to know that provides a 30% bonus. That provides 40. That also provides 40. The smaller part provides the same amount as the bigger part. Good to know. And uh, that huge one there provides less. Really? That's 30, That's 30, but this is 40. But... Okay, I'm gonna try and I'm gonna pretend that all makes sense in my head. And I'm just gonna roll with it. Rock get moved up. James, let's get you let's get you in the back, buddy. Because I don't have anywhere for you to be at the moment. And we don't have a time to get you all the way there. Gonzalo, you're gonna keep holding that point. Uh Runa, you and your team are gonna hold that area as well. Because your snipers are gonna absolutely annihilate people to come out of the door. Ooh, that's not good. That's two shots against Sergei, but no damage, I don't think. Yep, Sergei's shield took all of that. Okay. Ace. Rodka. Uh, first of all, Sergei, duck. Rodka. Oh, yeah. A knight. Mm, yeah, because Rodka can't hit that guy, but she can hit this guy. Take him down. That was the guy that got hit earlier, I'm guessing, by Christopher. Marie. Odds of hitting that guy, 34%. Versus Christopher's... 26. We'll take the shot with Marie, and hopefully Christopher can clean it up. Okay. Christopher, you got a shot there, buddy? Hey, no, that was a terrible shot. Okay. Chuck, your job, if you choose to accept it, is to continue blowing up these bushes. Is that better than this shot? I have no idea. Let's see what happens if we intercept right there. Perfect. Good job, Chuck. Chuck, you can duck at this point, by the way. Uh, Mars 3, can you see this guy? move to like here. Can you see him then? Yes. Take the shot, Mars. Good shot, Mars. Okay. Do Gonzalo. Can you see him? No. What's blocking you from them? Ah, this. Okay. Understandable, Gonzalo. What if you move to here? Yes, actually. Do you have enough time to do that? No. Do you have enough time to do this? Yeah, let's... There's nothing blocking us from there, right? Yeah, there isn't. Well, let's try that. Hey, Gonzalo. Good shot. You can crouch. Okay. Runa, as soon as your snipers have time units, I want you to move up. Go ahead and end our turn there. Can you get to here? You absolutely can. Uh, let's get the Runa here. Get Christopher here. We'll get Xena there, and we'll get Marie on the third one. There you go, everybody go. Okay. Do Chuck, would you like to reload, Mr. Sir? And would you like to do me a favor and remove that final bit of grass that's in the way? Thank you, Chuck. Okay. Now, Gonzalo, you can get back in this cover. Excellent. Maniac, I'd love to get you closer, if possible. Let's get you right there, Maniac. Run, 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 Maniac. There we go. He should be good to go. Sergey, let's get your team moved up to this bush, or this cover. Since apparently it's amazing cover. Can we shoot through this? We can. We can absolutely shoot through that. That makes no sense whatsoever. Uh, James, let's get you moved up. Ace. There we go. Everybody rotate and crouch. There we go. Okay. Zal's got cover here. Excellent. Now, ladies and gentlemen, there was something that myself and the chat noticed when we were on a live stream, and we're going to try something out real quick. We're actually going to grab... Uh, we're going to grab Chuck, and we're going to try something with him. It's a bit of an exploit, so I'm only going to do it with Chuck. And I'm going to fast forward through this so you don't have to sit through this. Basically, we're going to go back to the UFO. We're going to grab those grenades so that Chuck has a max... Uh, basically, his time unit, his weight is maxed out, right? And then... We're just going to run back and forth <laughs> for like, I don't know, an hour maybe. And see how many points and strength Chuck gets at the end of that turn. At the end of that. So Chuck, go ahead and get your turn yourself turned around and end our turn. I will fast forward through this for all of you so you don't have to sit through it. Uh, if anything happens in the middle of it, like an alien pops out of a UFO, we'll see what happens. Other than that, we're going to go ahead and try this out.
Ladies and gentlemen, we are back from our ridiculous escapade with Chuck Nader there. We're going to definitely have to spin that up in editing, hopefully, if I don't forget. If I do, that will be horrible. Uh, and, um, yeah, we're going to proceed with actually capturing this, uh, this UFO now. Now that we've been uh, running around with Chuck for a while, getting in all of our cardio. Uh, we're actually going to take one more turn here with Chuck, real quick, because I want to remove some of this wall, too. Actually, Chuck, let's get up here. And let's remove this wall, please, Chuck. Thank you, Chuck. Very good job, Chuck. You may move. Out of the way now, Chuck. And Chuck, I think we're probably done with you for the rest of this mission. Just a hunch. Let's get a shield wall up at the front here with Sergei and Runa. Let's get the snipers behind them. Ace. Let's get Marie here. Let's get Christopher here. Actually, let's get Christopher here, because he's a tough tough cookie to crack. Do make sure all the snipers are crouched and turned in the right direction. Let's get Maniac up here. Let's get Xena and Ace on this side. Let's get the Mars up here with them. And let's get James up here. All right, we got all the everyone relatively organized. Uh, Chuck, you've also got uh, a lot of different types of grenades. Let's get you up here as well. Let's get you on the other side, Chuck. We want to be able to shoot into that angle there, so let's get James here. Let's get Xena next to him, or Ace next to him, sorry, and Xena. We're going to have Maniac open the door from this side. We'll have the Mars be on this side. Alright. And we'll end our turn there. Alright, we'll have Maniac approach from this angle. We'll have the Mars get checked out of the way. We'll have the Mars post up here-ish. Yeah, here-ish. Okay. We'll get Chuck in on the side. Okay. Maniac. Go here. Turn this way. And end turn. Maniac. Open the door. Hey, they were on that side. Ace. Uh, actually, Chuck. No, that's not a possible throw for you. Uh, anyone else got a lineup on this guy? No. Ace. No. All right. Uh, James, you can't even see him, and neither can Xena by that logic. Marie, can you see him? Marie can see him. Good shot, Marie. Ace, take that shot. Good shot, Ace. All right. Uh, Chuck, go ahead and get back a little bit. Uh, uh, Maniac, get back as well, and end our turn. See if anything pops up to show to play. Oh, yep, something came out that way. Okay, so something opened that door. Uh, let's get the team resituated to this side. Not everybody, but most people. Uh, Alright. Maniac, go ahead and open it again. Nothing there. Okay. So whatever it is, it didn't come out. It just opened the door. It's a wraith. You tried, Maniac. Good job. Is that the tank? Did the, did the Mars just take that shot? Nice. Good job, Mars. Okay, uh, Maniac, go ahead and patch yourself up, buddy. You still got 65 hit points. Excellent. All right, Runa, let's get up here. We're leading the assault team in. Let's go. Maniac, open the door. Runa, here. Sergey, here. Maniac, here. Not Chuck. Ace, let's go. Xena, let's go. James, let's go. Sniper Squad, you're all going to hang back for a little while. Mars, let's get you in here as well, because we can use you to just punch through walls. And Chuck, let's get you here. Let's get everybody crouched. Okay. Okay. 
And also, when we were running around with Chuck, we did refresh Sergei's shield back at the spawn there. Bruna, let's get you open this door, please. Horrifying. Excellent. Okay. Um, absolutely horrific. Uh, can anyone put a suppression grenade in there? Bruna, can you get out of the way? Oh my god, she did. Okay, good job, Bruna. It's worth a shot. 89% chance. Okay, we got the Mentark suppressed. That's excellent. Servitor is returning fire. Okay, that's not good. Who isn't suppressed? This Mars is not suppressed. Mars, get in the doorway. Mars, take out the Servitor. Okay, Mars, you did not take out the Servitor. That's not great. Uh, who took damage from that? So, a Maniac took more damage. He suppressed, suppressed, suppressed. Ace and Hansen, it's a, or Ace and Xena, it's up to you guys to take out that Servitor. Can you get to here? With enough time units, get to here. Turn, crouch. Okay, that's a reasonable shot. From there, Xena, go there. Turn. Ace, open the door. Xena, blast him. Good job. Xena, can you take out the Mentark? Yes, go. Good job, everybody. Mission complete! Yes! Alright, welcome back to the Xenot victory screen. We've killed 15 out of 15 aliens, 0 Xenots lost, and 0 to 3 locals survived, unfortunately. 5 Gundren wreckage is recovered, 1 Mentar corpse, 8 Wraith corpses, 8 alien magnetic weapons, 35 Alenium, and 48 alien alloys, and every single person came back alive. Christopher got promoted, as did Maniac, got promoted, also got injured. Unfortunately, it looks like Chuck only got one strength. Okay, but I can see up here that James got plus two strength. Interesting. Interesting. Am I wrong? Did I did we misread this originally, or do or was some, it something else? Let's go to Chuck. Strength. Calculate throwing grenades. Soldier gain 10 progress points for every one time unit spent on movement when carrying over 80% of their maximum carrying capacity. Now, correct me if I'm wrong. Chuck spent the majority of that time over 80% of his carrying capacity. And also, I did have him run laps around the entire place for quite a while. And yet, James got more strength points than he did? I think this is wrong. I'm just saying, I think this is wrong. Hmm. The quickest source of progress points is combat experience via technical missions. Killing a hostile unit that awards 200 progress points to all attributes. We know James did get quite a few kills this time around. But each attribute also has a unique way of generating progress points. E.g. you get 20 points in accuracy each time units spent firing weapons at hostile units. However, the training room brace structure will also do to do... Progress point generation suffers from diminishing returns, meaning soldiers with high base stats can be very valuable. I understand it's diminishing returns, but what, what are we talking about here? Uh, generation suffers from diminishing returns, meaning it becomes harder for soldiers to improve their attributes with every increase they earn. 1 to 5, 1 to 5, 1,000 points per increase. 6 to 10, 1,250. 15, 17, 50, 2,000, 3,000, and 4,000 and th for 31 up. Okay. System means that soldiers with high starting attributes can be very valuable. Yes, I absolutely agree, but it just doesn't... And we can stack in attribute progress points and again and again and again. It just doesn't make any sense that Chuck wouldn't got, have only gotten one strength upgrade from that. I don't know, because he spent lots of time units going back and forth. Because his time units was, what, 55? So at a minimum, Chuck was gaining roughly 55 progress points a turn. Sorry, not 55. 550 progress points. Which means, even if he was at maximum... Yeah, he would have gained... And we spent... I don't even know how many turns doing that. Do... Let's, let's see. It was diminishing returns right here. Do... Okay. So even if he was at maximum diminishing points, which I don't think he is because he's only a lieutenant. We've not had Chuck for very long. That would have been... 4,000 divided by 550. It would only take him seven turns to level up once, and another seven turns to level up a second time. So, 
I know for a fact I did more than 14 turns of that nonsense. So whatever it is that's letting or giving them points is different than anything else here. So, nah, so, so, something else is screwy there. Now, it's possible there's a uh, protection there to prevent from, from you exploiting the system exactly what we were doing, which is great. Awesome. If that's in, awesome. That's awesome. That's what I wanted to test. Could you exploit things like that? Because I personally would not like that, but I'm sure people would be very interested in knowing that kind of thing. So, uh, from there, we're going to fast forward time a little bit until we get the uh, Phantom Interceptor unlocked. And I think we're going to be okie dokie to then. X-55 Phantom Interceptor The X-55 Phantom is the first interceptor aircraft designed specifically for battling alien UFOs. It is faster, tougher, and more agile than the relatively primitive X-25 Angel, while still capable of carrying a similar weapon payload. Much of this increased performance is the result of a vast power output of the ER-1 Elenium Reactor housed within the fuselage. This drive can this can drive the twin turbojet engines at astonishing speeds, allowing the interceptor to cruise at three times the speed of sound. As such, the airframe of the Phantom has been heavily reinforced with alien materials. This prevents it from disintegrating under the tremendous forces generated by flying at such speeds, but also makes aircraft substantially more resistant to enemy fire. We have also hardened the avionics and cockpit electronics to withstand the EMP effect of extraterrestrial energy weapons, allowing these instruments to be used in combat. Our pilots can thus perform sharper turns and more extreme tactical maneuvers without losing control of the aircraft. This makes the Phantom superior to our existing interceptors in almost every way. Although a significant investment of funds and materials will be required to construct one, it would no doubt prove invaluable in the battle for control of our skies. I noticed that it doesn't have any missile hard points though, just two cannon hard points. That's real bad. Health 150, armor 5, speed 3,600 km per hour, acceleration 0. Or 0 0.03 meters per second. Range 12,000 kilometers. Turn. That's. Wait. That's a longer range than our dropship. Are you saying this thing could fly basically halfway around the world? Awesome. Uh, turn rate 90 degrees per second and upkeep 80,000. Woo! I'm sorry. Did it say new. No, it said that it was complete with Phantom Interceptor. Um. I mean, heavy lasers for our aircraft could be very good considering. Uh. Just having cannons on an aircraft? Not really that exciting to me. Let's go ahead and get uh, heavy lasers started. Let's take a look at our aircraft real quick. Yeah, because these use two missiles and one cannon. Having two cannons? That seems really bad. Like, disturbingly bad. How much is, does this cost? Angel Interceptor costs 350 and Phantom costs 500000 Exactly like what I thought. Produces one X-55 Phantom Interceptor aircraft. Requires an empty hangar. Start production. Let's get one of these on the go, shall we? And let's see about those uh, heavy lasers for aircraft, shall we? Okay, it says we have our Phantom Interceptor complete. Ooh, look at that bad boy. Okay, so yeah, cannon, cannon harp. Oh, we could swap out for a torpedo, but not a missile. So we can't swap out for Sidewinder missiles, we can only use torpedoes. Okay. Sure. So we could lay them down with, with, with uh, if we get two Phantoms, we could have one with, uh, we could have one, one each, each one have a cannon and one torpedo, so that would be able to bring down heavier ships pretty easily, I think. Also, let's not underestimate the fact that their top speed is over a thousand kilometers per hour faster than the Angel, and their range is... 10,000 kilometers more than the Angel is. Absolutely crazy. Turn rate, also, this was not gone over this, turn rate 90 degrees per second versus 60 degrees per second, which is huge. Absolutely enormous. Also, engineering. Can you make armor for the Phantom? No, you can only make armor for the Angel. Okay. So this probably just gives it so the Angels can match the Phantom as far as armor goes. Okay. So the angels still have a use. They're useful for throwing missiles at enemies. That's very useful. Uh, accelerate cannon. We'll take a look at that versus whatever lasers pop up, and we'll see. Heavy laser weaponry. Given the power of a laser is mostly constrained by limitations on its size and weight, it is rather unsurprising that vehicle-mounted and aircraft-mounted laser weapons pack a far greater punch than their infantry equivalents. The laser cannon demonstrates this clearly. Although it functions differently to our existing vehicle cannon, it fulfills a similar role. However, the laser bolt it produces is even more destructive than the high caliber round it replaces, and can blow many targets, and most terrain, apart with a single shot. Ooh, is that an upgrade for our Mars as well? 
Scale this design up until it poses a credible threat to a UFO, and you have the Laser Lance. This weapon can be fitted to our interceptors as a superior alternative to our existing autocannons, good to know, with a lower overall rate of fire but a longer range and considerably higher damage per shot. Longer range? That makes a difference. Okay, how much longer range are we talking? More deadly still are the gargantuan lasers that we could we could mount in our ground-to-air defense batteries. These enormous weapons would draw power directly from the base generators, allowing them to blast approaching UFOs with a bolt of energy sufficiently powerful to destroy many smaller extraterrestrial smaller extraterrestrial craft outright. In each case, these weapons operate on the same fundamental principles as their smaller cousins, using a nanosecond pulsed laser to superheat the surface of the target until it vaporizes. They thus share the same strengths and weaknesses, excellent armor destruction but poor armor penetration. You can begin construction on any of these projects in our engineering department immediately. Ooh. Laser cannon vehicles, laser auto rifle vehicles, laser lance, laser battery upgrade. Laser battery upgrade? Interesting. Uh, and we need a new research project. Let's go with alien plasma weapons. Are we just going to skip lasers for our vehicles and go straight to plasma? Now that I think about it, that might be a thing we do. Um, let's take a gander at what it just said, shall we? Laser auto rifle vehicles. Unlocks laser auto rifle secondary weapon for our vehicle. So it'd be Mars and whatever we unlock after the Mars, presumably. The Mars is armed with an auto rifle as a secondary weapon, which is the variant of the standard infantry rifle adapted. Da -da 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 -da. It has the is the exact same description as the normal one. Okay. Whoa. Um. Oh, that froze the game for a very long time looking at that, apparently. So let's not do that. The laser cannon. Vehicle weapon that powerful, fires powerful high caliber projectiles capable of inflicting heavy damage upon single targets. Okay, so that's the equivalent of what we're using currently. And it is 95 thermal, 0 penetration, 10 destruction, range 30. We go to our armory. We can look. 70 kinetic, 0 armor, minus 10 armor per hit. Okay. So yeah, it's destruction and penetration is the same. Wait, really? Yeah, it's destruction is the same. But the damage is higher. Okay, awesome. Oh, and that froze the game again. It really doesn't seem to like looking at engineering stuff, apparently. This is interesting. Uh, is it fully frozen? Nope. Okay, we got out of it. Air weapons. Laser lance. 15 damage. Zero penetration. Four armor destruction. Kinetic, or the accelerated can, is seven damage. Oh, what was with the range? Range three versus... Wow, okay. It just likes freezing, apparently, right now. Am I allowed to look at laser lance, maybe? Laser Lance, 15 damage, uh, 6 range. I'm not going to lie. That's a big difference. That's over double the range of the Accelerated Cannon. What's the range of the normal auto cannon? Two, 3. So, yeah, that's... Wow. That's, um... That's a lot. Like, actually a lot. What if we, uh, go ahead and, uh, engineering... Let's... Let's whip up one of them uh, laser lances, shall we? Oh, this will make this will make laser lance weapon available for our interceptors. Do we have to make more than one of these? It costs four hundred thousand. Woo. Okay, maybe that's a, maybe that's an upgrade we get at some point. Laser battery upgrade. Would very much like to have that, please. Thank you. Okay, uh, lots of stuff that I definitely want. Unfortunately, I cannot afford any of it. Uh, we do have the laser shotgun available for us now. And uh, I think we're going to wrap this up with the plasma research, assuming nothing stupid happens. UFO 14 has been detected. It's moving at 2,400 kilometers. It is a small size. Let's launch just the Phantom and see how quick... Yeah, because its ETA is, yeah, way faster. Uh, they can all make it there. Let's let's go ahead and launch aircraft and see, and see how the Phantom does when it's leading a charge, shall we? Ooh, is another UFO detected? Okay, uh, we don't have any U interceptors to send after it, so we'll send. We'll just keep that on there. Uh, head to last known position. UFO seventeen. Uh, launch interceptors. Go ahead and redirect back up to the UFO seventeen, please, boys. Excellent. Good job. It's a destroyer. Let's tail target as soon as they're behind it. We'll engage. There we go. Squadron. Engage tailed UFO. I want to see what this looks like when we're actually up in the uh, tactical combat. 
Okay, so destroyers are pretty tough. I forgot about that. Uh, let's go ahead and get Angel 1 and Angel 2 coming at them from the sides. I think we can redeploy them, can't we? Like, there's a way to do this. Uh, oh, it's just like that. Okay, we can only do what the game wants us to do in that regard. Okay. So, we can get Angel 1 and Angel 2 to launch interceptors or launch missiles at it. And then Phantom 1 can engage it with its autocannons. At least it can try. And let's go on... Uh, evasive rolls are easier or harder when it's after burning? I think it's harder. Do increase speed acceleration, prevent it from fire moments, or framing evasive rolls. No, we want it to stay on max speed but not form evasive rolls. Alright, let's go ahead and see how this goes. So, Angel 2's already fired his torpedoes. Phantom 1, I want you to roll. Uh, I want you to roll right. There you go. Angel 1, why have you not fired her torpedoes yet? Uh, Angel 1, redirect to here. Phantom 1, go ahead and roll to the left. It looks like it's going to almost miss to the left, or right there. Why have you not fired? Go ahead and roll to the right. Also, slow down, because you're now in firing range. Let's go and get you to slow down, buddy. Uh, Angel 1, I want you to move up, since you refuse to fire your torpedoes for some reason. Which would be very useful. Apparently you refuse to fire your torpedoes. Angel 25, let's get you moving up this direction, because it is moving backwards towards you. The Angel just, or Phantom took a hit. It's hard to tell when it's actually fire, actually. We go ahead and... Roll to the right. That puts us out of its we weapons range. Get you moving in that direction. Angel 2, I need you to throw on your afterburners and get up out of the way. Angel 1, anytime you want to fire your missiles, that'd be great. Never mind, the Phantom took it down with just his cannons. Okay. That worked great. Angel 1, I don't know why you didn't fire freaking torpedoes, but that's fantastic. Alright, except result. That's fine with me. Let's go ahead and return to the Geoscape, please. Uh, crash Site 10 is down. Alright, let's go ahead and get our, UF our, our UFOs, get our interceptors back. And how's our research going? 4 days, 12 hours. Unfortunately, we will have to do a combat mission before we get that uh, those plasma weapons unlocked, which would be fantastic. Ladies and gentlemen, that is where we're going to leave Xenonauts 2 for the day. And if you're interested, there is a Discord link down below. Otherwise, I will see you next time. Have a pleasant morning, afternoon, evening, and good night.